dear students uh, in this lecture we will discuss about the ligand to ligand charge transfer transitions uh, that is related to charge transfer spectra we have already studied the three kind of charge transfer uh, that are uh, lmct ligand to metal mlct metal to ligand and mmct that is metal to metal or ivct that is intervalence charge transfer now uh, we will uh, come to the four type of uh, charge transfer that is ligand to ligand transfer so in this case as you know that uh, uh, with the name the name is suggesting that ligand to ligand that 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 uh, suggest that the electron is transferring from ligand to ligand so i am giving some examples how this occur uh, this generally this ligand to ligand transfer uh, sometimes it occurs via a bridging metal at ion as we have uh, studied about the metal to metal so in case of metal to metal one type is there where the uh, the electronic transition from lower oxidation state to higher oxidation state it takes place through the bridging ligand likewise the ligand to ligand electron transfer it, uh, it generally it takes place uh, through the bridging metal ion sometimes so i will give the examples of uh, ligand to ligand charge transfer in case of ligand to ligand uh, charge transfer uh, reducing and oxidizing ligands are present so if in the complex reducing and oxidizing ligands are present because this is a kind of again it is the kind of redox spectra redox transition because one spray should be oxidized and other should be reduced so uh, in this case also the the ligand should be reducing and oxidizing two type of ligand should be present if LLCT type transition will takes place. So generally, it takes place through uh, this metal ion. Uh, this uh, this uh, L reduce it can uh, it can uh, give its uh, it can transit its electrons to this ligand and. Uh, uh, this transition through this transition one ligand can reduce and other ligand will oxidize so this is uh, the uh, the kind of uh, it means uh, that there should be one uh, donor ligand and other should be an acceptor ligand so in a in a single complex there should be uh, reducing and oxidizing ligands of uh, one ligand should be a donor ligand that can donate its electron uh, to the acceptor ligand so one should be acceptor ligands so these two types of ligands uh, they can be uh, the donor ligands can be uh, x minus these are halides they may be thiolates they may be carbonyls so these are the donor ligands uh, they have sufficient uh, electrons so they have negative charge you can see and then acceptor ligands uh, they they are the uh, pi conjugated system ligands so the, like bipyridyl or porphyrin rings they are they acts as the acceptor ligands so in case of ligand to ligand uh, charge transfer there should be uh, uh, donor ligands as well as acceptor ligands in the uh, one and same complex this is the example of a complex in which there is donor ligand and acceptor ligand so electron will transfer from this ligand to this ligand so this is a kind of ligand to ligand charge transfer likewise this is a kind of complex in which uh, electrons can transfer from here to here so it has two kind of ligands uh, it, it is inter ligand electron transfer this is inter ligand electron transfer because electrons transfer from this ligand to this ligand so this ligand to ligand uh, transfer may be uh, of two types it may be interligand or it may be intraligand uh, type of transfer so uh, the, in this case uh, this will donate electrons to this so this will show ligand to ligand uh, charge transfer uh, so these are the different examples of ligand to ligand charge transfer in this case uh, this is the metal center in between and you can see that the arrangement of electrons is different in this case and in this case it is different so these are uh, the these are the uh, the result of uh, ligand to ligand uh, charge transfer 
so these are the uh, this this is the another example where uh, one may be the donor and one may be the acceptor so uh, one ligand can donate its uh, electrons to the acceptor ligand so these will show uh, they are very colorful actually we can say that if if any uh, ligand has conjugated double bonds then uh, you know the chromophores they absorb lights and they are responsible for the color of the complex so sometimes only the ligands are responsible for the color of the complex not the metal centers so these ligands they are responsible for the color of the complex due to ligand to ligand charge transfer now we can see the intra ligand charge transfer type complexes that is ilct this is under LLCT. So, in this case, intra ligand within uh, the same ligand, charge transfer will take place. So, one uh, one part will be the donor, and other part of the same uh, ligand will be the acceptor of the charge. So, I will I will show you the example. Uh, the electronic transitions from donor to acceptor site of the same ligand. Then it is known as uh, intra ligand charge transfer. So example is this. So this is the example. This is a nickel complex where it is biacetyl bis mercaptoethylamine nickel second. So in this complex, this is the acceptor site, and this thio uh, uh, just the site is the donor site. So these can donate their uh, charge to this uh, this uh, ligand part acceptor site, and thus it. Uh, the compound will appear colored so the the color of the compound will be uh, dark or color due to the ligand to ligand transfer this is intra uh, ligand charge transfer because it is occurring within the same ligand now this is the other example in which this part is will act as donor ligand and this is the acceptor ligand so this is the rhenium complex where the, 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 this ligand in this ligand there is intra ligand transfer of charge so from this to this the electronic charge transfer takes place and thus this uh, this complex appears uh, colored uh, this uh, r can be uh, this can be very this may be phenyl or this may be methyl group and this compound was discovered by larsen et al in 2014 and he has studied the uh, spectra uh, of this compound and uh, this is the name of the compound uh, so uh, this is dppz ph n ph2 so if n r r is replaced by ph then this is the name and if r is replaced by me then this will be the name this is dppz ph n me2 11 4 dimethyl amine phenyl dipyridyl 3 2 a 2 dash 3 dash c phenazine so this is the name so uh, there uh, he prepared two kind of complexes uh, and replaced this r with ph and me so the color of this complex is due to the intra ligand trans charge transfer from this donor ligand to this acceptor ligand so this is the very good example of ligand to ligand charge transfer and this is one more example in which this is a platinum complex uh, this i have shown only the ligand so in this ligand this is naphthylamine in this ligand uh, there is intra uh, uh, transfer charge transfer so this electron lone pair of this nitrogen it donated to this aromatic ring so this aromatic ring is the acceptor and this part is the donor so this uh, this uh, the complex color is due to the intra ligand charge transfer likewise uh, you have heard about the you you know already about the oxyhemoglobin in our body so in our body oxyhemoglobin there is a porphyrin ring this uh, hemoglobin there is a porphyrin ring so this oxyhemoglobin is red in color while deoxyhemoglobin is uh, this purple red in color so uh, the purple red or red color it it is due to the different states of iron but the the red color the the main color of the complex that is hemoglobin oxyhemoglobin is due to intra ligand charge transfer uh, because it has porphyrin ring and that porphyrin ring 
uh, is uh, responsible for charge transfer so because it it can cause pi to pi star uh, type of transitions so uh, due to this pi to pi star transition within the porphyrin ring the color of oxyhemoglobin is uh, red so now we can conclude about the ligand to ligand charge transfer spectra and uh, we can conclude that uh, it occurs in the complexes where the ligand uh, uh, are both type of ligands are present uh, uh, the reducing part as well as the oxidizing part so this uh, interligand uh, this uh, ligand transfer may be interligand or may be intraligand so within the same uh, uh, same ligand can occur the charge transfer can take place within the same ligand or within the two different ligands so if it, it is it is taking part in the uh, within the same ligand then it is intra ligand transfer and if it is taking in between two uh, different ligands then it is inter ligand charge transfer so this to this uh, charge transfer the color of many complexes are dark uh, sometimes uh, in case of like in case of hemo oxyhemoglobin the color of the complex is not red due to that iron but it is mainly due to the uh, porphyrin ring uh, the charge transfer in the porphyrin ring uh, while uh, the difference in the color of oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin may be due to the different uh, uh, states of iron in these two complexes uh, or or uh, different uh, 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 size of this iron in these two complexes so but the the original color is due to the uh, intra ligand charge transfer so this is all about the uh, charge transfer uh, there are four type again i am concluding there are four types of uh, charge transfer mmct llct lmct and mlct and now you you uh, can explain you you can easily understand the difference between these uh, tra charge transfer complexes uh, it is clear it is crystal clear that all type of complexes they are entirely different and you can differentiate these four kind of charge transfer with the metal to metal uh, electronic transition in the complexes having metal metal bond so you can differentiate and you can differentiate these four types of trans transfer on the basis of uh, the electronic transition uh, that is taking place from metal to ligand from ligand to metal from metal to metal and from ligand to ligand so in the next lecture uh, i will uh, give you uh, some insight on the factors that are affecting the charge transfer spectra so thank you very much